Hi, Todd here from Urban Sound Studio. In the second of four videos on the ARP Odyssey, we are going to take a look at the LFO, the sample and hold mixer, and the modulation section. This is where sound design really starts to get interesting. Let's start by seeing how we could use the FM or frequency modulation slider to create a vibrato. The FM slider will determine the depth of the vibrato, and the LFO frequency will determine the speed. And the same could be done with oscillator 2. If we flip the switch down to square, we could create a trill instead of vibrato. If your LFO is synced to your song tempo, you could even play disco style octave jumps. VCO2 is a little different, as the frequency can be modulated by a pedal or the sample and hold mixer. If we look to the right, we have the ability to have VCO1 saw or square modulate this frequency. First, let's switch VCO1 to only work as a low frequency oscillator and not have the keyboard on. Just make sure to turn down VCO1 in the audio mixer, otherwise you'll just hear a click come from VCO1. Let's use VCO1 as a square wave LFO. The noise can also modulate VCO2's frequency, which leads to a gritty distorted sound. VCO2's square wave can also be selected, but doesn't provide any useful modulation here since it won't be affecting itself. The next slider allows you to have the sample and hold section modulate the pitch. This is essentially the same as the sample and hold mixer, except you can now select a note from the mixer and set the output lag. We can have the LFO speed determine when a new pitch is selected. We can have the pitches selected from the noise generator. We could select a keyboard trigger where each new key press selects a new note. The output lag smooths the steps or adds some slew.
If we flip down the FM switch, we can also have the ADSR modulate the pitch on either oscillator 1 or 2. This adds a crying type quality to the pitch. Moving to the right, each VCO has a modulation for pulse width. This only makes a difference when you have the square wave selected. You can of course manually change the width. However, the slider to the right allows the LFO to modulate the width for you. And with the flip of a switch, you could have the ADSR modulate the width. Master these modulators and you'll instantly be on your way to fat lead and bass sounds. Make sure to check out the third video in this series where we explore the filters of the ARP. 